Hello everybody. Michael sent me pictures of two meshes he was not happy with. So I thought I make two tutorials. Let me start with the first one. I start with the cylinder in top view and make it one meter in all the dimensions and put everything in the middle. Then I select the top poly and delete it, go to the bottom one, delete it as well. Then I select the bottom edges, R key and bring them out 200%. The only reason I'm doing this is so I can work in top view without also selecting bottom edges. So I select those four, these four and bridge them together. Then Alt C, but with a count of one, two, three, four, five, you might Alt C and uniform. You might recognize this from my making perfect uh, surfaces uh, tutorial. Now I can <coughs> now I can select these edges, R key, bring them out a bit, select the middle ones, R key again, bring them out a bit again, and now we can fill this in. So select all these and deselect the outer one, bridge, same here, deselect and deselect and bridge. And now I can fill in these polygons. P key. Then go to poly mode. Shift up arrow. B for bevel. Bevel it in just a little bit. And shift up arrow to reselect everything. Take a radial fall off. Good. Perspective. W key. Now I can bring this up to uh, here, maybe, or here. That's good. Get rid of the fall off. <clears throat> now I can select the bottom edges again, R key, and go back to where we used to be, which is 50%. Now I take the side view, but Shift C, cut through uh, wherever I like, it doesn't really matter, it is not uh, critical. You can put it everywhere. The only thing which is important is that this new edge is the master edge which must be preserved. So let me Deselect this here, then go to the back, deselect this as well, and delete. Now we need to clean up this new uh, edge. You can do the same also cutting through a sphere. So I think I use symmetry on X. Then select this one, backspace delete, and put in a new edge here, yes, and then drop the tool C key, cut in an edge to here. Now we have an N gone in here, so I put an edge in about here, C key again. Good. Now we have all quads and I need an edge up here. Now I can select this and hit the P key. Then go to poly mode, B for bevel and bevel this in just a little bit. Shift click, bevel it in a little bit again. 
check that we don't have problems here. No. <coughs> Drop the tool. And now we have, I mean, this is uh, the secret for every sub-D model. If you want to have a sharp edge, you need two other edges which protect it. So this will be the one and uh, which we will see, and the other ones will protect it. And there is no need to put the protecting ones on the outside, you can put it on the inside, and it will work uh, as you will see. Now, I help Modo a little bit and cut through here, and now I can go to Polygon. Uh, quadruple and modo does the rest of the work for me. And you see we have an absolutely clean cut through here. I will make a quick render of it. And put this in. And a layout I like this one very much, render, and you see this is a really clean cut. Here we go. I will do a second tutorial. This is a bit more complicated, but this is the way I would do the first of the meshes Michael sent uh, the picture. So, thanks for watching. And take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you soon on my second tip. Bye bye.